So I've enabled the mod for Sneaky AI, and what that does is the aliens will try to prevent themselves from exposing themselves at all times, is what the mod says. Which, to me, sounded like there's going to be bastards that went around every single fucking corner and save their time minutes for reaction shots, and it's going to be a giant pain in the ass. But I don't know for certain. So... We're gonna give it a go, and we're gonna see. I guess this first ship here is an okay test. I need to get some more Aquanauts, though. Ooh, too. <laughs> Can't wait for the living quarters to be done. And, uh... We'll see how it goes. I got a super awful feeling about it, though. Like, I just- I feel like it just won't go very well at all. But we'll see. God damn, everybody's wounded. Um... <laughs> okay, there we go. Everybody's on. And armor, if you're wounded, your armor comes off. Oh, oh god, miss clicks. Get them out of the way now while you still can. And just whoever can get a suit gets a suit. Okay, little me's left without one. <laughs> Damn. Uh, manufacturing, what are we working on? Ion armor? 12 hours? Okay. After that, I think we'll do med kits just so we have them. Actually, shit, hold on one second. Just need to be absolutely sure. Because it could be lobster men again. Oh. Okay, yeah, we don't really need rifles on anymore. I mean, I'll bring a couple with some ammo just in case, but we don't need it. Well, yeah, you, you never know. May as well. Okay, that'd be good. Now we'll go. Because if it's lobster meant I kind of need the sonic cannon, sonic rifles really aren't good against them at all. Let's see how it goes. Everybody's equipped up with sonic cannons, some spare ammo. Some people have a proxy on them. Some of them still have some stuff in their belt. Oops. Uh, pff, uh I'm not too bothered by a ship is right there, which is pretty scary, actually. Let's end the first turn and see what happens. Not a whole lot. Okay. Let's have... Sega, can you kneel and take an aim shot? No, no line of fire, I didn't think so. Here, step out. And, uh... Yeah, no line of fire still. Fine. All right, Chrissy, one, two, three, two, one. Go for the snapshot, then get back onto the ship. Should have enough time units. <laughs> Good news, it's go, man. They're usually kind of a joke. Usually, what corner do we have? Nah. Uh, hey, that sure is sneaky. Fucker, get down from there. Oh, you can't see him from there. I was gonna have you throw a grenade, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll have you throw a grenade. So this could be interesting because he is. Yeah, he's technically on the first floor, so just lob it. Uh, yeah, perfect. Hopefully it doesn't, like, penetrate the ship oddly. Sometimes explosives do that. And we'll just hide behind the wing a bit, because there's a lot of map over there. I don't know what's over there. Over here, not so much. Okay, we're good. Yep, we're clear over here. Nose of the ship is okay. People with happy trigger fingers can, uh, happy trigger fingers? Uh, just trigger fingers, really. Uh, can hang out and watch the front door. Wrong one. 34, ugh. 38, ugh. 35, ah. Ugh. Ugh, these people. A little me? 
throw armor? Shit. God damn it. Okay. So maybe not. All of our uh all of our reactions are pretty bad. But Oh shit, yeah, because I had you shoot. Ah, uh, fuck. Er, scout. God damn it. Guys, comment here today is just just do your own. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> just turn on the Google's closed captioning, whatever, and, and just let it do its thing. Although it's actually surprisingly accurate nowadays, which is pretty terrifying, really. Because it used to be really bad, and it was kind of fun seeing what it thought I said. I'm gonna keep Sage in there, I think, and uh, Daddy Loader. Get you down here as backup. Anybody on top of our ship again? Okay, good. <laughs> I think I'm happy with this, so long as they don't just hide around literally every corner and just be like, nope, I'm hiding, I'm not moving at all, and just save up their 10 minutes for really ridiculous reactions. As long as they don't do that, I'm happy. Otherwise, I need to see about finding a mod for changing the aggressiveness, because I don't know how to do it myself. I, uh, I could look into it, I suppose. Yeah, just get down. Wasted too many 10 minutes already. I could see about modding it myself, just the AI and changing it a bit to be a little less aggressive and then leave it on default. Uh, I don't know. Shit, god. <sighs> Misclicks. God damn it. Huh. That sure is kind of hidden. No, really? Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, God, can I just use arrow keys to navigate people? <laughs> Holy shit. This is fucking terrible. Ow. Hi. Are you that guy? I thought maybe you would do that. I thought if you had a rifle or something, you wouldn't have enough time minutes, but you have a pistol, so... Yeah, that was him. So that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that was him. Okay. Uh, your back's turned. That's maybe okay. Just... Keep people looking at that door, and down there, if anybody comes around, the ship will get Coco Chestnut. I guess up here. Get Varathan in kind of a position. Oh, that was it. All right. So that wasn't that bad. I actually went into the ship and fought aliens, because otherwise, with the ship right there, they would have just left the ship right away to come to us. Kinda odd. Uh, yeah. I'm not really sure. Like I said, there there is this thing where, like, I think it was turn 23, all the aliens go really aggressive and come to you. Unless they're, like, super stuck or something, because that did happen on some maps. And it would be a really cool way to speed things along. But with Open XCOM, it seems like they do that at the very beginning. On just turn zero, they're super aggressive. And congrats, Chrissy, one, two, three, two, one. So I don't know... I don't know. This uh, this could be a decent fix, this sneaky AI. If you don't know, it's in the... You have to go to the main menu. But it's in game options, and then... Or is it in here? Oh yeah, it's in here. Yeah, just right there. AI avoids exposing themselves to the player whenever possible. And that just sounded to me like they just hide around corners and save up 10 minutes for reactions, and... I don't mind that happening once or twice on a mission. But for every alien to be doing that... <sighs> but we'll give it a fair shot. Iron armor's done. Awesome. So then medkits to keep. Everybody work on. Do you know what? Let's go 20. Make 20 for me to keep. It's a lot of medkits. Very small will send. Very cute at 2, I think, is the dual DUP. Try to just destroy this guy. Lost him. Last on position, patrol. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Back home. 
That happens. May have gone too deep or just despawned or whatever. Living quarters at USA. Awesome. So now I can pick up. I wasn't going to get any more researchers. I was going to pick up more aquanauts and technicians, but now I need to wait until the end of the month. 16th of May, because we spent almost all of our money on transmission resolvers, and I don't think I have that much to sell. Uh, rifles, I could. I'll keep. For now, I'll keep just 10. We'll keep the ammo. Pistols, get rid of these. Um, shock launcher, shock bomb. Mystery reader, thermic lances, heavy thermic lance, corpses. I'm going to keep some rifles because I would like to outfit that second base and we'd have two functioning full squads of people. And the sonic rifles are a really cool way to do that. And fucking hell, that's a good bit of money. Okay, well, let's get the Aquanauts and stuff now then. I could pick up another fresh 50, but good God, that's a lot. We'll go... Uh, I don't remember the marks. I mean, if you have 50 soldiers across all bases, I think that gives you the top rank available. So really, I'd want 30, but that's going to get damned expensive. So for now, we'll get 10 to give us a total of 30, which might give us the one above Ensign, I think. Lieutenant? Uh, I don't remember. And then technicians just... We'll go 20 for now, but the workshop needs to be finished. All right, I wonder, does that throw off my count at all? I don't know. This is Craig Dusky the sixth, I think. Yeah, Prodeus is the 6th and KPO the 2nd. Nice. ZR bite's done. Feel free to pause and read that if you would like. And that brings us to Alien Sub Construction, which I will start on. I thought maybe I needed Alien Origins for that, but I guess not. We'll start on it. And then... Oh, let's see here. Shock Bomb, Shock Launcher. I need that for the base. I would really, really super duper like the uh, Particle Disturbance Launcher for the first part of the base. It's just annoying. I tend to reserve that weapon specifically for Stage 1 of the Alien bases just because of how fucking absurd it is. And um, sometimes artifact sites too, but artifact sites is you just close your eyes and haul ass and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> that's just how it is. But uh, I would very much like those. And then I need the shock launcher for the last bit because the entire point of doing an alien base is not for score, but to actually get the lobster man commanders, which you need two of? Or is it just one? I think two. I think two. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a whole bunch. Just so many. <laughs> right. Naming. A whole bunch of new names. Let's see here. Chats and Seeger actually have pretty decent soldiers. Good reactions, good uh, firing accuracy. Not bad. Overall, sort of what you'd expect though for rookies. And after next mission, we should get a bunch of different promotions because I'm sure people have been queued to get a promotion, but we just needed the extra soldiers to actually be able to have said promotion. So we'll uh, ideally get a nice, quick, and easy mission. Oh, hi. Uh, were you? What, what, what are you doing? You must be the terror ship. It's scary when you see a ship come that close to your base. 
It's not a very large sewer, okay. The med kit's done. So we'll work on... On... I guess just med kits to sell for now then. Not quite everybody can fit because some of the workshop space is actually reserved for the med kits we're working on. I imagine it to be like an assembly line type thing that changes based on what you're making. And there's only just so much room to fit in. So four people are just kind of standing idle, but... Meh, that's fine. They were, uh, infinite 1.4 million profit. Not bad, not bad. That's like plus 15% money at the end of the month, I think. Basically, alien, sub con uh, alien subconstruction's done. Feel free to pause and read that if you would like. And we need to do more stuff to learn more. Okay. I think that might be Alien Origins, so we'll go for that real fast. It shouldn't be too long. I don't remember how to do the ships. I'm too lazy to look it up. <laughs> I, I want new ships, though. And sub pens done here, so we could get you guys in three days. Basically, just send them over now, really. We'll uh, send over just some... Whoops. Random people. Some rookies... Oh, great. Let's take everybody off the ship first. How about that? Because I can't send them over because they're on the ship. Okay. Yeah, we're rocking. One lieutenant is the best we've got. We should be able to get one above that, maybe? And then more ensigns and lieutenants as well. But let's send over. Should I have taken armor off too? Uh, you know what? That'd be a good thing to manufacture instead of the medkit stop production. Just make more, uh, more iron armor. Oh yeah, we got plenty, plenty of materials for it. Make another ten suits, and then transfer to Asia. Do I need to do sonic cannons and all that as well? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, we'll send over six cannons and the ammo. And then the rifles and the ammo. We'll keep a few here. Just just in case. Uh, thermal tasers, send over some med kits. Don't really care about those, don't care about those. Sent you guys a barracuda probably, but sent you a couple just random-ish names here. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God damn, the alternating there really fucked me. Uh, I think we're pretty close. We'll just there we go. There. So three, four, five, six, seven is Krug. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. One spare, but I think Mighty's wounded. A couple of these people are probably wounded. So we'll do that. They've got guns, ammo, sonic pulsers. They need some of those. Okay. 14,000. Easy. No problem. And then they need a triton and one of the barracudas. You are the standard, and you're the DUP head one, so we'll send Barracuda 2 over. Barracuda up. <laughs> um... To Asia. Barracuda up, And some dup head torpedoes to go along with it. Yes, and then purchase here. Some more DP head torpedoes, because we're actually kind of low, but we're full on space, apparently. How about now? How are we so full? Oh, our stores are actually overflowing. Huh. Awkward. Do have a lot of ZR bite. Are you guys totally full too now? No. Okay, so we'll send some ZR bite, I guess, over. Uh, 
and we're sort of using it right now actively for manufacturing. Hmm. Hmm. Let's sell some like magnav and stuff. How about? I think I need some of that. Alien cloning, I don't think you really need ever learning arrays. Reanimation zone, that's just flavor crap, I think. Nah, how we doing? 96, okay. You can also go into here and see what's taking up all the space. Right now it's Ajax torpedoes is actually taking up a fuckload. So we'll sell some of the Ajax and pick up DP head instead. There. And then purchase a DP head. Okay. And then Asia, you need a little more DUP head. Okay, really, what is what is actually taking up so much space? I sold some of the Ajax. The DUP head will be here. Because I need ammo for the ship that we currently have. Zerobite's taking up 25 space. And 20 space in plastics, yeah, okay. But we're actively making suits with that stuff, so, you know. And here we buy a Triton. <laughs> well, rent a Triton, I guess. <laughs> Ugh. Small touchdown in the middle of the night, though. No thanks. See if we can get him. His mission finished up, so he should be going pretty quickly. But he's actually kind of at a snail's pace. Ah, there we go. That's more the pace I was expecting. But you turned back. Nope. Ugh. What a uh, touchdown. All right, fine. So bases, equip sub at USA though. Equip sub the Triton because it took everybody off. So let's get people back on. Get a couple of the new people in there. Got just. Pretty much everybody can fit on nowadays. Necro gets to sit out. Meh. It is what it is. Cannons, we are okay. Cannon power clips, we're good. Couple rifles on standby. Let's take them off. Okay. Uh, armor is the other thing. We are making it actively. Which reminds me. Uh, yeah, some people have iron armor here, but not many. Okay. Let's go. Although the Barracuda is going to be low on fuel soon. There it goes, and the ship should... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. I was going to say the ship will probably take off as soon as the Barracuda leaves, but it didn't, so okay. And that's all fine. Not the greatest layout ever. Octoids. Snapshot? It's a pistol, so shoot at him. <laughs> Ordinarily, yeah, ends your first turn. Always, 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 always. And always check to see which corner you're in. Okay, that corner. Good. So step out. Let's scout this way a little bit. Make sure we're clear over there. Okay, we're totally clear over there. Awesome. Sprint just to get back into cover. Get your head down. Don't go there. Just hide by the wing. Kneel. Keep wanting to stand there, but you can't. Hmm. Not hearing any doors. Don't see the ship yet. 
this is a train with really large, basically, hills. And aliens like to hide behind them ordinarily. Like, this little spot here, this little, I guess, alcove, they love hiding in areas like that, so you have to be facing them from a particular direction to see them properly. I love that shit. Hmm. Being sort of reckless, kind of sort of speedrunning it, really just want to get the promotions. <laughs> I'm really curious. It's a small aquatoid ship. It's nothing too terrifying. Typically. Here's one, two, three, two, one. Kneeling, aim shot, 83%. Don't hit somebody in the back. Thank go. Okay. Sneaky AI's wording is a little scary, but this seems about right. You have to go find them. I think by staying out of sight from your guy, it means just like they'll, they'll try to stay back a bit is all. They won't push forward quite so hard, so it must just set the aggressiveness values to a much lower amount. I think I'm okay with it. Thank you for the suggestion. It's one of those mods that I saw and I was like, Ugh, probably not. Because just them hiding behind corners with reaction fire is just fucking terrible as is. That is that corner, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, we should scout it out real quick just in case. If there's a dude up here, I'll just throw a pulser. No, okay, we're okay, good. Heard a ship door this time, but we do not see the ship. And for the record, no, if you hear the door, if you hear any door, it's not necessarily one that you see. I just, when I hear the ship door, it reminds me, all oh, right, do we see the ship yet? And there it is. It's a real teeny tiny scout guy. Not sure what this uh, ship is doing here, what its mission was. If we had the transmission resolver, it would have told us that it's aquatoids. It would have told us the exact type of small ship it was and what its mission is. As well as the speed, direction, and all that jazz. Standard sonar stuff. Okay. For once, one of them isn't there. We'll have you just haul ass down here to catch up. If they move off camera, they just kind of teleport back to, whoops, the edge of the screen. Which makes misclicks really fucking dangerous when that happens, because they just teleport and there's no way to cancel it. But uh, if you need to move a lot of people really quickly, just click them. Click down here and just, uh, and they just, they teleport over. It's, it's super quick. It's kind of one of those things. Still playing with the door. The ship only has the one door though, so. Let's go ahead. Hopefully you got the strength for it. Let's blow the door off its hinges. Not a, ow. Well, shit. That was from way over there. I wasn't expecting that. Was there anything I could do to prevent that? Not really. I mean, I could have maybe gotten back in cover, but the direction you got shot from? I don't think that would have helped any. Uh, insurance grenade. Yeah. If only we had the human mortar KBL around still. 40 strength on Chrissy 12321. Ugh. Way back there. Just in case it came from further back than I thought. Because I don't also want to lose Seeger. And you already moved. Okay. Let's have you sprint down to here, 
so he can't just walk up and shoot. He has to walk like way up and around, and by then we'll definitely see him. Okay. Well, there's actually two back there. Shit. Glad I threw the second grenade. Okay, Seeker. Stay put for a bit. Sijin. Step up a bit. It's superhuman, so there's actually a lot of aliens crammed into this little tiny ship. Strange, I know, but... They pack them like sardines. Eight or nine, I think, on a... On a ship like this. Although, was this a very small or a small? Looking at the ship, this should be a very small, but... Hmm, not sure. I'm gonna have both of you sprint up, actually. Get caught up, hopefully you don't get shot and picked off. Door. Front armor, and then a pistol. Okay, there's a couple more in there still. You okay? Took it like a champ. Aw, oh, yeah. Already kneeling, we'll take two snapshots. And then one with Chris, you went to three, two, one. Awesome. That was it. Wah. Okay. We lost Arno. Damn. He was a pretty, pretty good rank, actually. Uh, so minus 31 points for him rather than the standard minus 20 for a rookie. So that's why ranking is a. Uh, one of the reasons ranking is important. Also, if we had a bunch of rookies on that mission and Arno was the only ranked person, I guess, there would have been a lot of people panicking, potentially. But let's see here. Seeger, more time minutes, stamina, accuracy, and strength. Nice. Good, good, good. Plus three accuracy, I will definitely take it. And Dragonfly getting one throwing accuracy. I think. Hey, there we go. Whole lot of cute promotions. Couple ensigns, a couple lieutenants, and a commander, Chimera. Nice. So we need a new Arno. Damn. Offer. Chimera. Commander Chimera. Look at that. Nice. Ten missions, eight kills. Yeah, that's not that bad. Sometimes you get a commander and it's like, how the fuck are you a commander? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's so fucked up sometimes how they get promotions. It's just like, oh, I was on one mission, I got three kills, I'm a lieutenant. Uh, okay. <sighs> Whatever you say, man. And there's DUP for both ships. Barracuda should be rearming as well as refueling. Ammo 3 max, or ammo 0 max 3. Should rearm after refueling. End of the month, this was a terrific goddamn month. 1844 monthly rating. Phenomenal. A thousand for that landed supply ship is a huge, huge thing. Mm, even without that, that's still 800 rating. Still pretty good. Five million maintenance cost. Jesus. Almost six million. Fuck. Okay, well. We got uh, 741,000 extra because, god, fuck, pretty much the entire world is particularly happy. So, a lot of people increased funding. So there we go. Workshop at USA is complete. Okay, cool. Yeah, look at that. End of the month, we only have a million. Ugh. Only a million dollars, guys. God. Sucks. It really isn't that good, though. Um, We are almost at the point now where we have to have a workshop of people making and selling medkits all the time just to stay profitable because we just have so many facilities and the transmission resolvers and all that jazz is just it gets expensive which speaking of which these also have a 100% detection rate I forgot about that so we can actually get rid of the old sonar no longer need it at all uh, it doesn't matter anymore so we have another space for stuff uh, uh, another general store is probably actually yeah let's let's do that real quick and I'm gonna do that here too 
waltz on my mind. And then maybe a workshop. And then another living quarters, if we can. Let's see what we can do here for that. I know there's some more weapons I can sell. This stuff generally just, yeah, sell a couple of those. Why not? <laughs> 290 ZR bite. Good God. Sell some of the pulsers. You tend to accumulate a lot of those. Pistols keeping, some more rifle cell. Okay, that's another million dollars. And build facility, living quarters there. Enough for workshop guys, soldiers, and stuff. And do you need an alien containment? Maybe, possibly actually, but we're gonna hold off on it for now. The Triton should be here soon. 19 hours and then you guys can be a fully outfitted whatever we don't really need the sub pen but I'm gonna keep it because when we start making a ship it needs to go somewhere obviously so we're gonna keep it there but yeah otherwise I could get rid of that and then that would give me all these areas actually uh, diagonals break too so I'd have um, yeah I, I could do that yeah four more and then two still actually shit just the whole fucking thing actually really it would mean that there is uh i could do that actually i was gonna say otherwise that just means that like this becomes a new choke room sort of but it would actually link up to here too and but uh, well yeah I, I could get rid of that sub pen anyway build more but i'm gonna keep it because when we start making new ships we'll need to put them somewhere which we need to research something. What did we just research? Already forgot. Did it give us anything cool? Looks like no. Okay. Let's go with the... I guess magnetic iron armor, yeah. Right. Oh, Alien Origins. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> Jesus. Getting a little ahead of ourselves here. And there's a Triton. Okay. Let's equip this guy. Get you kind of toward the back. I still want to use people who are high ranking. I don't want, um, ordinarily you just throw them in the far back of the ship, they never see action again, they never die. They're there, so if a seaman dies, it really doesn't matter, because there's a fucking commander still, and uh, bravery slash morale is weighted, depending on ranking and all that. So, we're actually, <coughs> actually a little short on weapons, shut. Sure. 